This is Unit 3, Linear Relationships, Lesson 4, Comparing Proportional Relationships. And this is Activity 1, What's the Relationship? So in this activity, you are given an equation. That's all you're given. And you are asked to describe a situation, something that's going on based on this equation, and then complete the other representations. Remember, there are four representations. There's an equation of a situation. That's what's given to you in this case. Y is equal four, to 4 and 2 tenths times X. There's the description. So what is it? What's going on in this problem? <clears throat> There's a table that you can put together based on this equation. We're going to do that. And then you can graph um, the points using the points based on this table that you get from this table. So here's the problem in the end. So we're going to work through this step by step. But the first thing to notice is if you're given an equation that is y is equal to 4 and 2 tenths times x, that is a proportional relationship. So that means that this line, the graph for this situation, we're going to talk about that in just a second, will go through 0, 0. This is the unit rate down here, so look for that as we go through the problem. This is the table right here. So we're going to say this is pounds of fish. How many dollars does it cost for each pound of fish? So we're going to put in some number of pounds of fish. We're going to calculate the cost of that. And, we're going to, um, and then we're going to graph it over here. And this is the equation written as cost equals $4.20 per pound, or 4 and 2 tenths per pound. So cost is the, the money is the C cost, and P is the pounds of fish. All right, so once again, notice that this is a proportional relationship. If you don't buy any fish, zero pounds, then you're paying zero dollars. And so for every X, Y changes. So four and two tenths units. So if you, um, if this is pounds, dollars per pound, so four and two tenths dollars per pound. So notice that one pound costs four dollars and twenty cents. So the number of units in the along the y-axis, which is c in this case is four and two tenths, four dollars and twenty cents times the number of pounds. So one pound of fish costs four dollars and twenty cents. That is called the unit rate. And writing it this way helps you figure out that C is going to be the Y value. I should have put a little Y here to remind you, but the cost is what you calculate. And the P, the number of pounds of fish, is what you are given going into that calculation. I want to buy one pound of fish. I want to buy two pounds of fish, three pounds of fish, four pounds of fish. What is that going to cost me? So it's going to be $4.20 for each of those pounds. So times one pound, times two pounds, times three pounds, times four pounds. So as you start to put together the table, one pound of fish costs $4.20. That is the unit rate. Probably a good idea to circle this and label it for one pound, one unit. What does it cost you? $4.20. And notice that the number of units along the y-axis is four and two tenths times the number of units along the x-axis. So for each unit, you, um, it is four and two tenths times that number of units. So two pounds, costs you $8.40. That's a proportional relationship. You double the number of pounds, you double the cost. You increase the number of pounds five times, you increase the cost five times. So that would be five times $4.20 or four and two tenths. That's going to give you $21. And notice that if you double the five to 10, you double the cost from 21 to 42. That's an easier way sometimes to figure these problems out instead of going back to the equation once you see the pattern. All right, so notice that in the graph, if you graph each of these points, notice that the slope triangle, because it's a proportional relationship, is going to be moved right up against 0, 0, right up against the origin right here. So you have to label, think about what to label the x-axis, and that's going to be pounds of fish. 
how far do you have to go out? Well, I need to go get out 10 pounds. So I'm going to label this 10. I'm going to divide this up into equal parts, making one part, one unit. So one pound, two pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds. But how far do you have to go for the money? Well, you have to get up to $42. So on this axis, you're going to label this cost that's in dollars. So you have to go up to 42. So go up as far as you can, label that 42. And then you divide this in half, so divide 42 in half, that's 21. You can get an idea of what to label these based on these numbers right here. So 21, uh, and then you just have to make a guess of, this is five units. So label this, or divide this into five equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move this one up a little bit, I guess. And then label it four dollars and twenty cents, eight dollars and forty cents, twenty-one and forty-two. So then place those points on the line. So you go out to five pounds. You go up where the this arrow here, if I drew it in the other direction, intersects with this arrow going in this direction. That is a point on the line. So you'd put a point right here. Same with this one, where this goes up in this direction, and this arrow goes out to the right in this direction, where those two arrows intersect, you would place a point. You know it goes through zero, zero, and you use that to draw this line. You're gonna see that for 10 pounds, you spend $42, so this also falls on the line. And the last thing is to remember the unit rate. So the unit rates go way down here to one pound of fish. How much is that one pound of fish going to cost? It's going to cost you $4.20. So that's one unit. Double it, costs you $8.40. Triple it, it's three times $4.20, which would be $12.60. Four times $16.80. And five times is $21. So the unit rate right here, and you zoom in on it. So for one pound of fish, it costs you $4.20. So always try to look at the unit rate. That is the constant of proportionality. That's what you are always multiplying by. It is constant. That's why it's called the constant of proportionality, because this is a proportional relationship. It also is the slope. So every value of x, y is 4 and 2 tenths times that number of units. So the number of pounds of fish is 5. So 4 and 2 tenths times that 5 gives you the number of units of money, of dollars, which is 21. So 21 is 4 and 2 tenths times 5. So it's the number of units, not the, the length. It's not how long these lines are, these segments. It's the number of units that they represent. So five pounds, four and two tenths.